coming in super spontaneously because I'm receiving many messages about meditation and it seems like people just completely don't know how to meditate. Um, meditation needs no technique. It needs nothing really, as Osho say. But because we are living in such a busy world and we are conditioned with so many programs in our heads and we're always chasing stuff and we're always running after things, we need certain techniques to bring our mind down, to calm our mind. And there are many, many different meditation techniques, but they actually just calming your mind. They are not really bringing you closer to yourself. So all those techniques, like chanting, like listening to the music, like imagine picture, imagining pictures or listening to the sounds, all those techniques are nice and they are calming your mind. And of course, it's amazing to start somewhere and they can be a great tool also. But the real meditation is coming, it's going within. It's turning all your awareness from the outside to go inside. That's the real meditation. Hi, Marta. <laughs> um, and to be able to do this, you need to quiet your mind. So when you do chanting, for example, it's also a, a way of, of going, um, of withdrawing the senses out of the way. So you're not hearing, you're not, or you just focus on one uh, sense instead of all five senses. Okay, so basically let's start from the beginning. When you sit down, why we are meditating? Because we are so freaking busy every day, doing so many different things, running, chasing, eating, sleeping, uh, cleaning, cooking, meeting people, working, going shopping and stuff like this. So our body, by the way, your body is your subconscious mind, if you didn't know, and your body is constantly receiving messages from the outside. It's constantly mm, receiving this sensation, that sensation, visual sensation, uh, hearing sensation, testing sensation, touching sensation. But when you meditate, you calm your mind and you're withdrawing from all those senses and you're teaching your body, your subconscious mind to sit still. And then if you sit down, if you close your eyes, if you close your ears and bring all your attention inside you on the thoughts or on the breath or whatever meditation you're using at that time, you literally telling your body that now it's time for yourself and you just need to sit still and you're not reacting, you're, you're sitting the feelings are coming, the sensations are coming, you hear something, but you're not reacting, you smell something, you're not reacting, your body is itchy, your body is uncomfortable because it's not used to sit and do nothing, your spine is hurting, your, your, your legs become numb, but you're sitting, you're not moving. So you're creating this new kind of program for yourself that when it's time for me, I'm sitting, I'm not into all those distractions around me. And then you're able to go within. And it might sound weird for people who never meditate how to go in. And even that's why I'm recording this video, because even my friends who I showed meditation so many times, so many years ago, they still ask me today, how do I go within? This is how you just withdraw from all the senses. You can put your earplugs or you can focus on one sound for like, for example, like the sound of the ocean or something. I don't really like 
to use meditations like uh, listening to the music and just drifting away because how you become how can you find your reality how can you come back to the reality to the truth if you are using imagination imagining like Im like guided meditation for example with imagining like to imagine you're on the beach the sun is beautiful it's okay it's good to start but this is not real meditation this is not the meditation we will take you within it's not an inner journey it's more like calming the mind and feeling nice which is also good it's better than having this chatter all the time in your head from your from your mind but real meditation is coming in silence and darkness you're closing your eyes you're sitting still you're not moving your body you're just breathing inhaling exhaling you're observing what's happening within your body inside yourself if you don't know where to start i encourage you to start with the breath just inhaling exhaling observing the breath observing the air beneath your nose above your upper lips and you're just observing the breath and it might be really uncomfortable in the beginning for the mind and for your body to sit still and just observe because suddenly you have no distraction you have no thoughts you have no I mean the thoughts are there but you cannot move you cannot distract yourself you're practicing concentration you know, if they were teaching us at school how to practice concentration, we'll be so much happier. Even when we were at school, you remember when the teacher was saying, concentrate, concentrate. When you were doing homework at work, concentrate. How to concentrate though? We don't know how to do it. But we are amazing in practicing distraction all the time, taking phone, when we cook, we do thousand things at the same time. When we brush our teeth, we already listen to the radio or we messaging, messaging uh, people in the morning, we just drink coffee, we already on the computer, on the laptop. We constantly practice distraction. And as you know, we are becoming amazing and good with things which we are constantly practicing. So if we don't practice concentration, how can we get good in concentration? But concentration is also a key to the present moment. Do you know that it present in present moment, when you are here and now, there is no problems. There is no suffering. The present moment is always perfect. It's always amazing. It's always exactly how it's supposed to be. Only the past is painful and the future, if you don't know what's going to happen, can be painful. So your mind is constantly living in the future or in the past, never here, never now. But when you practice concentration in here and now, whatever you do, you brush your teeth, you only brush your teeth in the morning, nothing else. You drink coffee, sit with the coffee. Take one sip. Acknowledge it, taste it. Mmm, how amazing this coffee is. Do one thing at a time that will practice your concentration. And the more concentrated you become, the, easiest, the easier it is to meditate. And why is meditation so important? Because we're constantly suffering. We're constantly living either in our traumas of the past or we are already in the future and we're scared and anxious or depressed. Suffering, suffering, suffering. But there's no such thing as suffering in the present moment. And the more you meditate, the more you discover treasures inside yourself. It's like, you know, you have a million dollars in your pocket. You really do, but you forgot about it. 
we are all miracles we are all particles of god you know but we forgot about it we simply forget it's like putting a hand into the pocket and <laughs> taking out whoa i have a million dollars seriously it's literally like this when you meditate you discover so much about yourself you become a better version of yourself you're realizing who you really are what your real needs and desires not those from out there world conditions programs expectations of family friends society this is what we are but this is not us the real you is something completely different and to discover this meditate you know even yoga you know that i'm a big lover of yoga and i practice yoga every day but even yoga is just a tool to go within those oral tools swimming going for a walk chanting even going to the church to pray it's all all those things are just tools to bring you back to the present moment to come inside you and you know life will always find a way to wake you up so we very often waking up with a big suffering after an accident or uh, discovering cancer or any other very painful event in our in our life like heartbreak and stuff like this that would bring you to here and now that would wake you up somehow but you don't have to wait for those events to wake up to go within to become you to discover you to discover who you are I am leading those, you know, one-to-one -one coaching programs on meditation and yoga and overcoming addictions and stuff like this. But to be honest, you just need a little guidance. You don't really need the teacher, guru, swami. Maybe you need for a little guidance, but it is all within everything, every answer to every question of yours it's within you know do you know this feeling of loneliness which arises in you very often that's the separation from you and you which means you here and you here that's the separation, the distance between your true self and between your mind. This distance, this gap is this loneliness and emptiness you feel so often. And you can feel this gap by, by connecting with yourself, going inside, diving in, discovering your true self. <laughs> if you need help on that, just reach out to me. or google it or go on youtube there's so many no i wouldn't actually go on youtube so much unless you find a really nice person like dandapani or joe dispenza or Sadhguru. but it's better not even to google it and, and find it just go within and see what's happening see See what is there. Hmm. Hi, Kirsty. <laughs> You're a beautiful being also. I love you. If no one told you that today, I'm telling you. And I'm not just saying. I truly do love you. We are all connected. We're all here to walk each other home. And I'm here for you if you need me. <laughs> but mostly you just need yourself. Namaste.